All right, today I'll show you how to install a multi-switch on your FTA satellite dish. A multi-switch allows you to distribute the signal from a single satellite dish to multiple receivers while maintaining independent polarity control at each receiver. Using a multi-switch is not the only way to split a satellite signal amongst multiple receivers. You can also use a multi-output LNB. The one I'll be using in the video today is a dual output LNB. There's also quad output and believe it or not, even eight output LNBs. The big difference between using a multi-output LNB and a switch, a switch is generally less expensive and also offers more flexibility in your installation. One thing that will not work to distribute a satellite signal amongst multiple receivers is simply using a splitter on your LNB. Explaining why a splitter won't work is beyond the scope of this video, but fortunately I already made a video explaining it. Link in the description. Here's how this switch works. You start at the satellite dish with a dual output LNB. Connect the two outputs from your LNB to these ports on the switch. 18 volt satellite and 13 volt satellite. Now the 18 volt port is for the horizontal satellite channels and the 13 volt port is for the vertical satellite channels. The switch mixes those two polarities and outputs them to four receivers. Now each receiver has independent control over polarity switching so you can watch both horizontal and vertical channels on any one of these satellite receivers no issues so you could be watching tv in one room and as you change channels a signal is sent from that receiver back to the switch to change polarities as required but all of the other receivers connected to the switch are unaffected this is a three by four switch because it has three inputs and four outputs the third input is for an over-the-air tv antenna so you can connect your TV antenna directly to this input and just use one of these outputs to go directly to a TV or digital converter box. Or if you want, you can even split that signal up to go to multiple TVs to distribute your TV antenna signal that way. Now, if you really want to maximize the use of this switch between your satellite receivers and your TV antenna, you can use one of these. It's an antenna satellite diplexer. So what it does is takes an output from the switch in here and then it splits up the frequencies between your TV antenna and satellite signals. So now you can connect this to your TV or digital converter box or even split this signal up amongst multiple TVs for your antenna signal. And this port here can still be connected to a fourth satellite receiver. So in reality, you've got five outputs when you use this diplexer. If you want to learn more about these antenna satellite diplexers, I just made a video about them. Link in the description. Multi-switches can be used in many different configurations and you can use them to expand your system moving forward. In case you're wondering, these little caps came with the switch. They're known as terminators and they're supposed to be put on any unused ports to prevent loss or ingress. As I said, this is a 3x4 multi-switch, but they also make 2x4 multi-switches that are a little simpler. They just don't have an input for a TV antenna. All right, here's the connections at the dish, starting at the LNB. Both outputs of the dual output LNB are used. I just tied the cables back there to make it neater. And to the switch now, we got the satellite connections here. This is from my over-the-air antenna, which is located over there and on the output side we've got the antenna here and these two are for satellite receivers one of the outputs is unused so i left that terminator on there but i could add more satellite receivers if i want but for this demonstration that'll be good enough so antenna satellite satellite let's go inside and see how it works all right inside at the super messy workbench I've got the GT Media satellite receiver connected to this TV. Got the Amico Mini receiver connected to this TV. We'll run a scan and you'll see that all of the channels come in, both horizontal and vertical transponders. I'm using Galaxy 19 for this scan, by the way, because it has channels on both, on both polarities. Blind scan. 
search. Okay, that one started. And now we'll get the Amico going here. Just press the white button for that one. White button on the remote there. There it goes. Okay, so we're getting some horizontal transponders coming in here, both TV and radio. Amico takes a little longer, it seems. There comes some horizontals. Yep. Same thing, TV and radio. Scan continues. Sometimes receivers will do one polarity at a time. That seems to be the case here. Here comes the vertical transponders now. This one's still working. Sometimes blind scans can take a while. That's not a bad thing because you want your receiver to scan every transponder that it detects. Here comes the verticals now. At the bottom, you can see the vertical H and V for vertical and horizontal. There we go. So the switch seems to be working good. So you have full polarity control at each receiver, so you could have these distributed throughout your house and be able to watch all of the uh, channels on every receiver, horizontal and vertical. And you can see here on the channel guides for each satellite receiver, both the horizontal and vertical channels are listed. So you're getting full polarity control on each receiver independent of one another with the use of this multi-switch. Also on this TV, I have the over-the-air antenna connected from that multi-switch. Just show you the off-air channels come in. There they are, I only get three, but they pass through that switch, no problem. That's how a multi-switch works. If you think it might be handy, and you're thinking about buying one, there is a purchase link in the description.